things people say they love about it is just how disconnected you are from a lot of, you know, most people's everyday stresses. My everyday stresses are all here in the woods, but for most other people, they all disappear when they come here. <laughs> my name is Jacob. This is my tiny house. When I'm not building my own cabins, I'm travelling around the UK in Oscar Hour camper van in search of the coolest tree houses, huts and cabins that the UK has to offer. Today we are off to the beautiful county of Herefordshire. To a glamping site called Brookhouse Woods. It's home to tree houses. You'll see a film about this one in the future. It's home to some chickens and it's home to a hobbit house cabin. And that is what we are here to see today. But before we meet the man who built this hobbit hut, I thought we could take a look around first. Oh God, that's so stereotypical. Why am I speaking like a presenter? Before I meet the guy, let's just, let's just take a look. This is fun. There you go. <laughs> This place feels so isolated, walking down twisting little wooden paths until you get to here and you see it. Wow. The first thing that strikes you is just how green it is, how remote it is. It's sort of enveloped in this beautiful, proper English woodland. It's quite magical, really. It is not, however, as magical as this door. That is stunning. That is really, really lovely. I feel like a complete idiot being so excited by a door, because it's just a door, but look at it. It's stunning. Why aren't all doors circular? I guess they're not quite, not quite practical and you have to bend down to get in, but who cares? It's so much better. Oh. <laughs> this is a tiny and sweet little cabin. It feels so homely. I think that's because it's so handmade. I love sitting here. This place is pure, well, it's pure simplicity. And really, it does exactly what it needs to do. It doesn't distract too much from the real reason why people come and stay in places like this one. It's that, the great outdoors. Even the simple battening on the walls all leads directly to that view, the view of the woods. It's so quiet in here. It feels like I'm the only person here for miles. It's so sweet! <laughs> and it's not just the Hobbit House that has a sort of rustic simplicity, it's also this. The composting toilet, obviously. as well as the secluded shower, offering more views of the woodlands. But it gets even better with an outdoor kitchen. And this is where Rustic goes into absolute overdrive. <laughs> Everything is recycled, upcycled, or handmade. And it all just means that the whole point of being here is to be outside. Why have an indoor kitchen if you're planning to come here to get away from everything. Why be inside? I've got an uni wood-fired pizza oven. I've got a fridge. I am gonna be honest, it's definitely basic and I think it's perhaps too basic, but at the same time, isn't that the point? I think the basicness is the point. It's to enjoy the basic necessities of life, I suppose. Now I'm just talking out my ass, but I think 
That must be the point. I like it. It might be a little bit too rustic for the type of thing I want to do on my bit of land, but I can see why people love it and people like it. This video isn't all about the Hobbit House. It's also about Revolution Race, a Swedish clothing company who have sent me these. These are the Revolution Race GP trousers slash pants for my American viewers in forest green, my favourite colour. The most useful part of them is reinforced knees. It's great for working down on the floor. Revolution Race is now available in the US and followers of this channel can get a 15% discount. Just use the code JACOBH15. Valid from the 15th to the 21st of October. Click the link in the description. Now, let's get back to it. Hi, my name's Will St. Clair and I built the Hobbit House here at Brookhouse Woods with a couple of other friends. We moved here in 2016, so we started building stuff kind of straight away. Um, most of my background was really in making things to go inside buildings rather than making buildings themselves. So, so I kind of learned a lot on the job and now I'm kind of building cabins on my own. My partner and I both worked as actors in London for a long time before this. For us it was really a way to live in the country and sustain ourselves kind of on our own terms. After 16 years I found that I was wanting to stay longer every time I visited the country and it was starting to switch over from wanting to spend most of my time in the city but spend some time in the countryside. It was starting to kind of switch around to wanting to spend most of my time in the countryside and visit the city more occasionally. So it took us three to four months to build the Hobbit House. The Hobbit House is kind of set quite high up on the farm. Um, it's set right in the woodland. I think out of all the places we've built up here, it's, it's my favorite place to sleep just because the window is right there next to your bed and it's just pure woodland. It's just a sea of trees, really. So the style that we built, it's a bit of a combination of using some roundwood timber framing um, and then also some more conventional kind of sawn timber. So the, the four posts on each corner of the Hobbit House are all a, um, all a nice thick round uh, sweet chestnut pole and obviously the door frame is, is made with this lovely field maple that just had the perfect curve. So, so we cut that down, chainsawed down the middle and jointed at the top. Purely by chance it had this side branch which, uh, which came off and when we put it together um, it landed perfectly on the ridge. Uh, so we kept that in as a feature and cut a little notch in it so the side branch of the door frame actually helps to support the ridge of the building as well which is really lovely. I really like the combination of the, of the real kind of raw natural material but kind of jointed in with, with nice clean clean straight lines as well. Yeah so inside the Hobbit house it's got a nice king size bed um, and we built the bed frame in really in the same way as the cabin is. Very sorry to say the uh, chairs are from Ikea. <laughs> uh, but we wanted like comfy armchairs, you know, I think to relax in you don't want two dining chairs in your cabin. So, you know, we needed, uh, we needed something soft and comfy, which I don't make. The outdoor kitchen, keep it really simple. It's a nice big space. Um, there's a big worktop that runs across pretty much the whole kitchen. Uh, it's got a little gas cooker in there and a fridge uh, and a little charging point for mobile phones. Yeah, a sink for washing up uh, and a little wood-fired pizza oven. So the compost toilet for The Hobbit, uh, it has, it's actually a, a kind of complete bathroom. So there's, um, there's a basin and a shower and then a little kind of compartment on the side where there's the compost toilet. Done it, it's all quite open. So the shower again has this, has this lovely kind of balcony so you're, you're literally looking out into the woods um, as you shower, but it's really private and secluded. And the compost toilet, it's a really simple system really. We use a wheelie bin to catch all the waste and we just swap those out. So when one fills out, it's really easy just to move it out of the way. And then after a year to 18 months, it's usually composted down really nicely. And then we can just dispose of it and, and use the wheelie bin again. The things people say they love about it is just how disconnected you are from a lot of you know, most people's everyday stresses. Uh, my everyday stresses are all here in the woods, but for most other people, they all disappear when they come. <laughs> the other thing is the fact that everything here is, is handmade. Every, everything's been completely hand-built from scratch using, you know, a lot of traditional methods. And I think people really connect with that. 
think I get the most pleasure out of working with an axe and a knife. I get far more pleasure out of that than working with power tools. And I think it, it forces you to think slightly differently about the wood. But also it's just really lovely working with tools that don't create loads of noise and dust. It's beautiful. Yeah, I am proud of it. <laughs> Penny and Well have created a charming little fairy tale like Hobbit house. And I can see why people love it so much because instantly you're transported back into your childhood, a childhood full of stories and fairy tales. Just like those old stories, just like Lord of the Rings even, this cabin is escapism in its truest form. It's far, far away from the stresses and strains of normal life. And that's what makes this place so wonderful. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video in the Hobbit House. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell button and all the stuff that you're supposed to do every single time you watch every YouTube video ever. Um, I'm not really making that very... Uh... Just do it, please. Thanks.